All right, so we got the two lined up. And <laughs> I've heard so many times that Tor and Xmark, they look exactly the same, or you know, some people are saying, oh, they're completely different. Well, honestly, when you look at them, they're practically the same. There are a couple things, and we're gonna go over each things that are completely different. I don't have the bag on the Toro. It's the same bag, just it says Toro on it. That's just really it is. So of course, let's start with the front. So of course with the Turf Master, uh, we just got this nose front that's completely covered. And it's covered because the way that you adjust it, there's some springs underneath. And the way that you adjust it, um, they got that completely covered for the nose guard. And I kind of like that. It just looked finished. It looked a lot tougher. Uh, but we go over to the X mark. And of course we just got a bar around here. One thing I don't like about this is that I don't know, the welds seem pretty cheap. Like this this side over here already seems like it's gonna start busting through. Um, so if I were to choose between those two, just for the nose, I wish X Mark possibly would have went with that kind of nose, even though it's fine. And of course, like I said, any of these opinions, these are just my opinions. If you guys are hardcore X Mark fans, that's completely fine. I'm just saying this is what I like. So um, yeah, so have fun commenting. Um, anyways. Now we go to the next thing and we go to the, we look at the tires. Um, different, definitely different kind of tread. Now this one, this is I did I actually didn't really realize this, but the tires, I thought they were a hard I, mean, I thought they were a hard plastic, but they were actually kind of like a rubber. Um, and you know, especially with the back, as you can, as you can see, and even the Toro, I actually didn't really like uh, really realize that, but as you can definitely see from the Toro, the tread weight wears down way too fast. And I, I couldn't believe how already how bald you know the tires are. You know, the X Mark's only a year old. We've had this Toro. We've probably used it a lot more than the guy before that had the X Mark. Um, but definitely, I do like the wheels uh, on the X Mark. I think they had they had better tread. I think they last a little bit longer because I don't really hear too many people saying that their tires go f out on their X Mark. Definitely in the Toro. So we have to reward this to X Mark. Um, definitely one of the biggest things. On the X-Mark, because each one has a patented, is the reason why I went with the Toro is because I like the way that you adjust the front wheels, because it's both. You know, you just click up. Very simple, and I really like that. Now, with the X-Mark, of course, what you have to do, you pull up on this tab, you remove the wheel completely, and then insert it back in, and it has all the, the heights right here. Um, and I, I wasn't really too fond of that when I first saw it. And I thought because, you know, you have to lift out the mower, take one side out, lift out the other side, take that side out. And I just didn't really care for that. I was like, well, that's kind of a waste of time because you're spending more time doing that than with just one lever with the Toro. So it's like, okay, whatever. Um, but one thing that I did like about the X-Mark is that they actually online, uh, I'll probably be purchasing it soon for the X-Mark. But they actually have a front mount to Thatcher and it will not work on the Toro because of the way the holes, the way that the wheels are mounted. Uh, but the way it mounts is that it just goes into the existing holes right there on the front of the mower. Um, and then you can attach a front dethatcher for the mower. And I really like that. I thought that was really cool, which is kind of one of the reasons why I got it. Now, of course, we go to some of the more noticeable things. Same exact engines, uh, Kawasaki FJ180V, uh, commercial Kawasaki, of course. Uh, both have the same exact motors. Transmissions, I think they actually have different transmissions. And I remember uh, like a year and a half ago looking them up. Uh, one of them was faster than the other. I cannot remember why or which one. Uh, but trying to go up hills with this one, like I said, I, I found a little quick trick for the Toro to um, go a little bit faster up hills. We're going to have to do it to uh, the X mark as well. But definitely looking at it, you got your engine guard. Uh, completely different this one uh, on the X mark I like that it has some it seems like some pretty thick bars around it uh, the Toro you know it's got its sticker on it congratulations and just some thin bars I mean that's not really that big of a deal it's not like you're running into trees all the time or you're on the highway with them uh, so it's really just for your preference of which one looks better and I surprisingly I kind of like the look of the X mark better but the Toro is okay the X marks better yeah, so anyways, so now we're gonna go to the levers. And this is one of the another, the next reason why I chose the Toro over the X-Mark. Uh, the X-Mark, you got two levers to engage the blades. Uh, you, you just slide this little lever down right here. 
sorry, I had to do that. And then that's your blades right there. And then of course you got your um, your clutch down here for your, or I'm sorry, for your wheels down here, whatever it's called. Uh, leave a comment below, first one wins a high five from me in the future. So uh, if you can guess that. Anyways, so when I first looked at them, I thought that that would be kind of uncomfortable um, how you have to kind of, whoops, how you got to kind of hold this one down and you got, you got a little bit of that pressure kind of pushing it back up against your hands. Uh, now, the one thing I did notice about this one that I, I the one thing I don't like about the X-Mark is that um, you barely pull um, the lever and it goes, which is a good thing. But the problem is, is that your hands kind of stuck like this, especially if you're going through some thick grass or it's wet or you kind of want to go slow. Uh, with your hands like this, they kind of start to cramp after a while. Um, my employee, he says he doesn't mind it, but compared to the compared to the Toro, I I, I kind of like the Toro's handle, and I really wish they did that handle, honestly, on the uh, X Mark. But that's okay. Um, definitely something to get used to. But like I said, very simple. It's very easy access to all of this stuff. Like I said, it, I can do my trick that shows you with the zip tie uh, right here on front of the uh, the wire, and um, a lot simpler than the Toro. Like I said, the Toro, uh, you know, you got your lever right here. I like how it's nice and smooth against your fingertips uh, on the underside. And um, it's just, it's a little bit more comfortable to me. But then again, uh, I have been running the Toros for, um, you know, a year and a half, two years now or something like that. So I'm, I'm used to it. So that's one thing I'm keeping in mind. So don't worry. So anyways, those are some, um, those are some of the quick differences between the uh the two mowers like i said we'll go over real quick Def different tires uh x mark has better tires uh the noses on um, both of them uh, i guess you can say the um the deck guards on the on the front uh definitely better i kind of like the look of the the turf master but because of the way that the front mount the front wheels adjusted that's why they went with the full cover rather than the x mark All right, guys, how's it going? Um, so in the middle of filming the Xmark versus Toro um, differences, the battery died, and I couldn't find my battery packs for a little bit with the charger. So I couldn't finish the differences between the two mowers, but they're pretty similar. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do a full review, a little bit better video. This is, that was just a quick video to kind of get up on YouTube for you guys. Uh, just put the update of that we got the new X mark and kind of go over some similarities that we guys can see both of them But like I said, we'll do a better video comparison uh, very soon And once we get a few more hours on the X mark, we'll do a full review just like we did on the Toro Turf Master So hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll get some more uh, videos up on YouTube for you And thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye